evening, my test subjects, and welcome back to another game I will be doing here on this channel today. Of another one of my favorite games. At least there's a lot of those on this channel. <laughs> uh, but I've never played this version of one of my favorite games, so this will be interesting. Oh, uh, do you guys know what it is? It's a Hideo Kojima game that takes place in Alaska. <laughs> oh yeah, alright. Got that right, that's for damn sure. Wow. Just watch this little cutscene here. Ohio the Nuclear Cluster. Weapons Disposal Facility on Watch Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by Next Generation Special Forces being led by members of Foxhound. They are demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You will have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the President of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. SDV gets as close as it can. Dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was the commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, Master of Disguise. Vulcan Raven, Giant and Shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, Specialist in Interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always, this is a one-man sneaking mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. I don't think that cutscene was in the original game. <laughs> but anyway, this game is Metal Gear Solid 1. The first of the Metal Gear Solid uh, Pentilogy, I'm going to call it, because there's five games. <laughs> five main games. Pentilogy. <laughs> Sweet. Anyway, this is like the remake for the GameCube of the original game on the Play System one. And, uh, yeah. This is the Twin Snakes, has like enhanced graphics and that type of stuff, so we don't have to be staring at polygons and shit. <laughs> But anyway, let's just get right into it. I've never played this version, I've only played the PS1 version, so this may be pretty interesting. I'm gonna make sure everything looks good. 
Um, can I like do that? Oh no, I don't want to do that. Shit, I don't want this bad. There we go. That's not what I want. <laughs> I wanted to like make it bigger. Shit. <laughs> oh well, I guess I can't do that. There's no like resolution type deal or widescreen setting. That's fine. Um, that yeah, looks good, I suppose. Uh, yeah, let's just new game this. Uh, very easy, easy, normal. I'm gonna go with normal. Iterator are not displayed during intrusion mode. Oh yeah, just standard radar. That's how the game was meant to be played. I think from here forward, this was an awful game, I don't know this. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. Okay, yeah, that's definitely different. <laughs> Face is showing. He's gotta be fucking numb as hell being in that water. The water's gonna be cold as fuck. <laughs> I mean, he's, you can see his air blow and stuff. That's how you know it's cold. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the pause button and then the A button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Alright. So we're in the cargo dock. Oh. Okay, that's how you get down. Wait, what was that? It was probably gonna tell me how to crawl, I guess. <laughs> but not anymore. I've already done it. Oh shit, I'm already about to get caught. No! Oh shit, no! God damn it, that didn't count. That was ridiculous. I was not prepared for this shit. Oh, whoa! Yeah, they're good! Oh, okay. Damn. I just begun the game, too. Oh, I'm glad I came down here. I can literally walk in the water. Not a ration. That was ridiculous. Oh, hey. What's over here? Damn, I'm glad I fucking came up here. Got a lot of good stuff. An RP sensor. 
What is this? Or an AP sensor. Sensor detecting life forms. Rumbles on enemy approach. I'll have that on my hotbar. No, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what else do I got? I got SIGs. Highly addictive and hazardous to your health. Snake's favorite brand. And then I got binoculars. Okie dokie. Alright, well. Already having fucking terrible trouble. Quit doing that. Climb up. There we go. Alright. Let's not make those mistakes. Again. Because that was just fucking terrible. Okay, use the radar. That was bullshit. It was in the middle of a cutscene game. That was just ridiculous bullshit. You guys agree with me on that one, right? No. I guess it makes sense that they see me. Well. Stay like ducked like this. They can't crawl, as far as I know. <laughs> Shit, I need more people and everything. Okay. Okay. Oh, crawl up them steps. Okay, well. This is actually a very bad start. I'm usually not this bad. I'm usually... Really good. Seriously. M9. <laughs> I don't want to open this because I don't see the map. I don't know where people is. No. Ah, oh, I'm so screwed. Who's there? Yeah. It's right, bitch. No, no backup for you. <sighs> Fuck. I have to use rations. I have an M9. Yeah. Oh, I shoot. Okay. A to aim. Okay, yes. There I go. Here we go. These buttons are not the usual GameCube buttons. Fuck! Guys, I'm terrible at this game. I know. Fuck. <laughs> I think it's just because like the controls are not like the, the PlayStation versions. So I'm like so confused. Like, instead of the A button to, uh, to, uh, like, duck down like that, it's, it's the X button, so. And instead of, like, uh, or instead of, like, the, you know how the X button on the, on the play system version is the, uh, I don't have that shit, damn it. Well, anyway, you know how the X button on the play system is to like duck down and shit like that. Well, it's the X button on the GameCube controller, which is like the, like the circle button, which is kind of stupid, but fuck it, I suppose. I never explored way back here, did I? Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> well, so the GameCube controls are like a hell of a lot more different, and they're actually more annoying. <laughs> and yeah, reasons. 
And I don't know how to first person aim either, so that's a problem. I don't understand what this does. The sensor detects life forms from rules on the enemy approach. So weird. I don't know how that shit works. Okay, I think we're supposed to wait till the elevator comes down. There we go. Sweet. Alright, we got this this time. Oh shit, no. Now there's a third guy that's usually walking around. Hey, we got this. Let's go. Who's there? Yes. Spin that wiener. Ooh. I wonder why the elevator is going up. Yeah, it's stripping. Mm, badass stripper music going on. Dude right there. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. That took a long time. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. Don't worry. It's been a while, but it's all coming back to me. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. Oh, okay. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. See. see, it's a good thing they like explain all this stuff. That. Like, there's like, like, like my question that I asked earlier. It's just been way, answered. How's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. A Hein D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Cool with that. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec. As well as your Soliton radar system. Thank you. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. Oh. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. What's uh, wrong? Nothing. 
I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so...